Hi, I'm Steve Henry. I'm the president of Bittner Henry Insurance Group. I'm here with Dennis Berman, who is our claims concierge. And Dennis uh, is the first layer in oftentimes on a claim. And we have maybe 2,500 to 3,000 claims a year. So Dennis is pretty busy. I keep busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but today we want to talk a little bit about vehicle related uh, thefts. And the one we want to focus in is the theft of a trailer. And uh, it's surprising this happens as much as it, as it does. Dennis, how often do you take a trailer theft claim? Probably on average, at least one to two a month. Uh, sometimes we've had as many as three or four. Right. So, and these are oftentimes trailers at uh, a church or a school or an organization, uh, not in someone's home as much. Let's use churches, for example. Why do they steal a trailer from a church? Uh, a lot of times if it's an enclosed trailer, there's items in that trailer, but I think the thieves target churches in these trailers because there's not a lot of human traffic and activity around all of the time and they can sneak in, take it and go. So what can you do to prevent that from happening? Well, we had this discussion a little bit earlier today. Uh, when I saw the number of claims coming in for trailers stolen and thinking, knowing that I have a couple of trailers at my house, I want to protect them. So I went to my local Lowe's for $25. I found a trailer lock. I put that, bought one for each trailer, put it on. And really it's a device that fits into the tongue there where the ball would go with a metal bracket coming around the top and you just lock it in place. So to steal that trailer, you'd have to cut that off. That's very heavy steel. That would be difficult. So you would say maybe to protect their items, they should not park at a building that has no occupancy during the night. If they could park it at a member's parking lot, something like that, that would be preferable. In the awful event that there is this theft, what kind of things should you do for your insurance policies? Well, that's a good question. If you've got a trailer, make sure your agent knows about that so that we can include coverage for that. Uh, the big thing that you need to do, though, is to let us know, let your agent know what's in that trailer. If they happen to have sound equipment or, or uh, lots of power tools, would you even recommend leaving those things in a trailer? I wouldn't. If possible, it would be best to keep that out of the trailer until it's used and needed, then put it into the trailer. So our takeaways today uh, on protecting your trailer is Park it in a place that's secure. Uh, put a $25 to $35 trailer lock on that trailer. And whatever the contents are in that trailer, if possible, don't store them in the trailer. Keep them out of the trailer until you need to use it, then put it into the trailer. And lastly, discuss the trailer and what's in it with your insurance uh, agent or customer service rep. So I hope this little conversation we had, uh, Dennis, myself, was helpful and maybe you can take some thoughts away for making sure your, your property is properly protected.